welcome to my class in this class we will talk about central processing unit cpu components of a computer system a computer basically performs the following four functions first receiving inputs of data and instructions processing the inputs producing outputs and storing data information and instructions for future use accordingly there are four major components of a computer system the first one is central processing unit second one input unit the third one output unit the fourth one storage unit that is memory a block diagram of the basic computer organization is shown and the functions of different units are described below basic organization of a computer system input unit which provides program instructions and data primary storage which consists of ram rom cache and there is one more memory that is register this is cpu which consists of control unit and arithmetic logic unit then we have secondary storage which is nothing but hard disk cds dvds pen drives floppy disks magnetic tapes etc then we have output unit that is in the form of monitor etc the first part is central processing unit cpu the cpu is present in the cpu cabinet box all calculations and comparisons are done inside by the cpu the cpu is known as the brain of the computer the computer does all its work through the cpu this is the picture of intel core i3 processor core i5 processor intel core i7 processor since cpu is the most important component in the cpu cabinet the people in common parlance started referring to this cabinet box as cpu itself but you should not forget that cpu is a part installed on motherboard inside the cabinet box the cpu has two main parts arithmetic logic unit and control unit the control unit and the arithmetic logic unit together form the central processing unit cpu arithmetic logic unit it performs all mathematical operations such as addition subtraction multiplication division and logical operations such as greater than less than or other comparisons control unit it controls the working of all parts of a computer it informs to the different part of the computer what to do it also checks the correctness of sequence of operations cpu performs mainly four functions first fetch second decode third execute and the fourth one write back fetch 
This is the first step. The CPU retrieves the instruction that it needs to run from memory, that is RAM. It reads the instruction from RAM, that is known as fetching. Each instruction in a program, which contains millions of instructions, is stored at a specific address. The CPU has a program counter, which keeps track of the address of instruction that the CPU is assessing. Second decode. This is the second step. The compiler translates the programming code written in high level language into binary form that the CPU understands. High level language means the language which is in English form and binary means which is in zero and ones. So the instructions are the code written in English language is converted into binary that is in the form of zero and ones which the CPU understands. Execute. This is the third step. Now the instructions converted into binary form are sent for execution by CPU. The CPU can do one of the three things. First, using its arithmetic logic unit, the CPU can apply mathematical or logical operations. Move data from one memory location to another. Third, jump to different addresses in the program based on decision made by the CPU itself. Write back. Fourth step is write back. The actions taken by CPU produces some sort of output. The CPU takes this output and writes it into the computer's memory that is RAM. Then RAM sends the output to the printer or monitor. CPU clock. Another important component of a CPU is called the clock. Clock speed is one measure of the performance of a computer. It indicates how fast each instructions will be executed. Every computer contains an internal clock. This clock measures and allocates a fixed time slot of processing to each and every micro operation that is the smallest operation. In simple terms, CPU is allocated one or more clock cycles to complete a micro operation. CPU executes the instruction in synchronization with the clock pulse. The operations of arithmetic logic unit and control unit are performed with tremendous speed. These operations are synchronized by an electronic clock that emits millions of regularly spaced electrical pulses each second. Commands are interpreted and then executed at proper intervals and the intervals are timed by a specific number of these pulses. Thus the speed at which an instruction is executed is directly related to the computer's built-in clock speed that is the number of pulses produced each second. Clock speed is measured in terms of millions of cycles per second. A cycle comprises of one low pulse and one high pulse. One high and one low, it makes one pulse cycle. This is pulse cycle. A cycle per second is known as Hertz. So one cycle per second is equivalent to one Hertz. One cycle per second is equal to one hertz. 
the clock speed is measured in terms of megahertz or million cycles per second that is megahertz cpu speed is also specified in terms of millions of instructions per second or millions of floating point operations per second billion cycles per second is equal to 1 gigahertz 1 gigahertz represents 1 billion cycles per second the speed of microprocessor called the clock speed often is measured in gigahertz for example a microprocessor that runs at 2 gigahertz it executes 2 billion cycles per second the clock speed varies from one model of cpu to another model of cpu as of 2014 the guinness world record for the highest cpu clock rate is an overclock 8.723 gigahertz amd pile driver based fx8370 chip this is the fastest processor available at the time of recording of this particular video so this is the faster processor available right now thank you very much